y'all excited? I'm excited. We're gonna play some Space Engineers. I'm K. A lot of things have happened. A couple days have gone by. We've done a lot of tweaks, cosmetic tweaks to the Starbase. As well as we also built a little station. Attached to the asteroid. And we've gone ahead and cleaned up all the floating ships. So around, we went ahead and docked them to this uh this station right here i built a little fighter transport that apparently has taken some damage somehow in one of the connectors and basically just just a, just a jump chip with a couple connectors so that we could transport our fighter ships so they don't count against us for the star base there's some testing and uh a creative about the star base and we've uh tweaked some Added some grinders, or added some gotten turrets, and uh, had some more missile turrets. But we learned that if you launch 500 missiles at one time, some of them start despawning before they actually hit the ship. We swapped them back out for gotten turrets. Also learned, spoiler alert, that. It could not land on a planet. No, it can't. I tried. Depending on your definition of landing, maybe it actually does. The Starbase itself landed intact. Uh, a few blocks on the stem did not make it. A couple thrusters didn't make it. Um, all except for one landing gear made it. But it lasted to about 0.6 Gs. And then it started exponentially going from 0 to 100 meters per second straight down. So we've added some lights, did some cosmetic painting. I did paint the star base all over again, painted it as black as it can get. So I'm quite happy. The retrofit to the Argentavis is completely done, as well as our secret weapons are done. We have made a couple missiles. And these missiles will be launched from the Argentavis to see if we can do some serious damage to their ships. We also went ahead and we scouted around these ships and are we scouted around their base and uh, without getting more than 2k from it using a camera I could zoom in they've got a uh, a good little fleet goading so it's definitely going to be a nice little battle when it actually happens to taunt them what I'm going to go ahead and do now is build a little spy satellite and I'm going to put their spy satellite within their uh, broadcast range at their base. And this is going to let them know that, hey, we're here and we're ready. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. Fix up our little transport ship. It actually did work. We docked a little fighter to it. We jumped to their... Uh, where we thought their base would be. We flew around until we found their base. And then uh, we jumped back. Alright, so I'm going to work on this. And I'll bring you back. After the uh, spy satellite's done. Alright, we are back. Moved over the jump drive. Uh, to fighter transport. This is our super secret spy satellite. We did throw a little turret on there just to, when they come check it out, just to say, hey, yeah, this is here. Little laser antenna. They think that it's actually connecting to a ship.
So it's nothing fancy, just a battery gyroscope. A beacon that says super secret. All right, so we're gonna connect this over and jump on there. And we're back. We dropped off the beacon or the spy satellite and uh, I forgot to hit record for it. And uh, we set our transport after the jump to uh, start flying here. And yeah, it was gonna like fly straight through one of our ships and it's still doing little funky uh, maneuvers. But the autopilot did work. It, it did take it here. It did take us here. All right, so that's dropped off about five and a half K from where all their ships are gathered. I, uh, I was going to show it but I forgot to hit record. And then at the same time as I started thinking, I was like, I'm gonna leave y'all in suspense. So I'm gonna go ahead and dock this. Uh, the beacon set for 10K, so they can definitely see that there's a ship there. The antenna, which shows it, you know, who, uh, who dropped it off for them. Uh, the antenna is set for two and a half K. They, when they, uh, when they get a little closer to inspect it, they can see exactly what's going on. The little turret may be a little surprised. And then hope, let's hope that the laser antenna makes them think that there's another ship hidden. It'd be funny to find out that they, uh, decided to fly around for a while, seeing if they could find our ships. <laughs> oh, a little too far. Go ahead and dock this. Let's move on to the next, uh, the next thing. I still want to make a fighter, like an actual legit fighter. We have our small one. I believe it's in the green hangar. So I think I'll, uh, I'll make a nice little, uh, little fighter. An actual legit heavy armor fighter. So let's start doing that. All right. So, with the battle getting ready to uh, commence, instead of just jumping everything to the new car's base. And unfortunately, this will not hold everything. We're actually going to go ahead and just go ahead and build like an industrial mining station type of deal. Uh, especially with his iron eater over there, it can get ore extremely efficient and fast. So we build a nice little place so we can basically process that, build anything we want. This is going to be more of an industrial design. So, he's laying it out. I'm going to go ahead and start start welding it up. And uh I think Nemesis has a a game plan for the interior. I don't think anybody knows what the exterior of it is going to look like. So it's definitely going to be a work in progress. And uh, once everything's built inside of it, we're going to start putting the hole around it. And I think we can come up with a nice, nice little cool design. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, welding this up.
as you can see, we've been busy. We've definitely been quite busy. This little uh, design, we have eight refineries and stacks and sets of two. We will be setting up a bypass system because I have learned from the setting moon that, you know, that would be kind of nice to have. Everything is built to where you can access pretty much everything. Very open industrial design. I think, uh, I think it's coming along quite well. Hey, there's a gr uh, grinder there. Good thing that's not sharp. So we're going to start transferring some stuff inside of the car containers. Start storing everything on here. As of right now, everything's pretty much... All the components are out of the Starbase. They're either in that ship or our welder slash grinder ship. Uh, Nemesis is a little gnat, or they're still in this car container. So we'll start transferring everything in here, especially all the ingots are still in the star base. Then, once all that stuff there, this will become our new production, our main production area. I mean, of course, my heart's always going to be with the star base, so when that survives the battle, because we know it will, it's not getting very much damage. All right, well, that's it. A little short episode since I forgot to hit record for the drop-off of the spy satellite. But until next time, have fun.